Planes, trains, and even tanks have a turbine engine. The key component to a turbine engine is gonna be the turbine disc. Those discs are made with tools like this fir tree cutter. So we're gonna go ahead and load up some carbide, go to our Walter Power, and get grinding. In a previous video, Tyson made a blisk on his mill turn. Now the difference between a blisk and a turbine blade is a blisk is a solid piece of metal, whereas a turbine blade has individual fins cut into it. Turbines convert mechanical energy into electrical energy via a generator. In a plane, a turbine's primary function is to convert the energy of hot gases passing through the engine to power the electrical components such as the Wi-Fi, the AC, and pilot controls, and to provide thrust. So how it does that is a turbine's rotating blade convert the kinetic energy of hot gases and drives a compressor that powers the aircraft's avionics, utilities, and passenger comfort controls. Turbine discs are designed to withstand high temperatures and rotational forces, which means they are strict design and manufacturing requirements associated with turbine discs. In other words, the tools like we're making in this video have to be perfect. So right here, I have a finished product of the custom fir tree cutter I designed in Tool Studio and I ground on our Walter Helitronic 400. So what this does is it creates the female geometry onto the turbine disc and then the fin is machined outside. Now what's important about this geometry is these radiuses and angles have to be absolutely perfect because if not, the fin for the male surface won't fit and the entire part is scrapped. Right here, I designed the bottom face. That way it can cut on the bottom. I created a 45 degree chamfer and three radiuses that go in. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna create a strong locking surface. That way a fin can lock perfectly in place and not move out due to the forces of the spinning turbine. So another reason why these fir tree cutters are designed this way is because the more surface area that you have, the faster that turbine is spinning, the stronger that taper is gonna be. If it's spinning so fast, these fins could come loose and you could lose an entire turbine and cause a catastrophic failure in your airplane. So when the M1 Abrams actually came out, they had a test to see if the diesel engine was better or the turbine engine was better. After extensive testing, they found out that the turbine engine created more torque and more horsepower and was able to run off jet fuel. Now the turbine helps create propulsion and thrust in the jet engine. It also has another purpose. It helps create electricity by powering the generator. The generator provides electricity for the AC and pilot controls, and without that, the plane wouldn't fly. So technically, the reason why you're able to watch a movie on a plane starts with this tool right here. So let's get grinding. All right, so we just did a rough, a semi-finish, and a finish pass on the flutes. Now we're gonna go ahead and run it dry so you can see what's going on. So the amount of carbide we're taking off this blank is the reason why I had to do three separate passes. Now I'm using a Tyrolet StarTech RC wheel and I'm running 3600 SFM at five inches a minute. So I wish I could show y'all without any cooling, but this is removing a whole lot of carbide and with carbide grinding, you absolutely have to have coolant placement. So what I'm doing right now is I'm roughing out the profile of our fir tree cutter. I chose to rough this OD out because when I come back in and do my OD clearances, I don't want to remove a whole lot of material. So that's why I'm roughing it out first. After I roughed out my blank, I went ahead and put a gash and a notch in it. That way I can use the bottom of the end mill to make some cuts if I had to. As you're doing this, the part kind of looks funky but after I did the clearance profiles, the tool actually came out perfect. So after everything is roughed out and the bottom of my face is done, I switched to a Tyrolet 1V1 StarTech XPP Plus wheel. What I did with that wheel is I went ahead and did my primary and secondary clearances on my form. That way I could have a finished part. So now I have a primary and a secondary clearance down my face along those radiuses and across my 45 degree chamfer. And that's all gonna connect to my bottom of my end mill which is gonna be a bottom cut end mill. That way, if I have to use the bottom of the end mill, I can. And just like that, I have a finished fir tree cutter. So we just finished our part. Let's go ahead and mount it in our BVM, do a test cut so we can check the geometry.
All right, so we got Chris's tool checked out, chamfer, radius, everything looks good, tool's good to go. So fir tree cutters come in all different crazy shapes and geometries, which is no problem for a Walter Helitronic Power 400 and Tool Studio. So make sure y'all stick around. We're gonna be demoing these tools in upcoming videos. And if you haven't already, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.